G'day everyone. I uh, don't know what this video will turn out like, or especially the sound. It's uh, blowing like a bloody hurricane here today. I'll just give you a peek out the front door, and you can see what the wind's picking up like. So I don't know if the wind's picking up in the microphone on the camera, but anyway, here's a peek out the front door. So I'm going to I'll light this up. Maybe the noise from the boiler. Maybe the noise from the boiler might be strong enough to go over the top of the, the wind. Anyway, there's my MSM 4-inch boiler, gas-fired boiler. Uh, got some silicon tube that I hope won't blow off. And I made this some time ago. This is a, a steam turbine. out of, uh, that's a rock and mold steel. And then there's a, a bladed fan inside. It runs on um, steel bearings. I've got the steam line coming into that fitting that I made. Coming up through some brass fittings and the steam jet is going into there. I hope that's the steam jet's going into there. And the two uprights are held together with um, these countersunk metal screws, brass screws, and I've got the flywheel on here. It, it's a pretty noisy bugger, I, I must say. It's, I, I don't run it that often. But it turned out really well. I'm happy with the way it turned out. There's a bit more about it. And I mounted it on a, some hardwood that I had. And I routed it. So, to see how that's going to be a while. Jeez, I hope that bloody wind's not getting picked up this, micro this microphone on the camera. Anyway, um... I'll come back guys when that boiler's come up to steam and we'll see how the uh, see how this steam turbine goes. Back soon. Okay, back again. The boiler's coming up to steam, giving up a good head pressure there. Have developed a bit of a leak there. There's always something in the steam engines, there's always something that needs fixing. But getting up to a nice head of snip pressure there should make the steam turbine scream. There's the 4 inch MSM boiler. Beautiful boiler there, mounted on another piece of hardwood. Okay. Okay, here we go.
Okay, as you can see, it's pretty steam hungry. That's used a bit of steam. Just going to let that build back up and uh, I'm going to try something else. So again, I'll be back again in a little while. See you then. Just going to keep letting that boiler build up a really good amount of pressure. I made this, um, let's say, mini generator out of an old computer fan. Turned up a bit of aluminium and put it on the front there so it's a pulley. Uh, made the pulley out of, the, the pulley belt I should say, out of uh, some black o-ring. I've put this on and on, on and off switch there and I've got eight LED lights. And around the back, made that little box there for the electronics in the back. And put those holes in there to uh, aid the airflow so the van doesn't slow down. So, I'll just let that build up, the steam in the boiler. I'm not sure how much torque this is going to actually have. Hopefully it'll have enough that we'll be able to get those LED lights uh, up and running. But uh, we'll see, I'm going to let that boiler build right up. Okay, back when it is. Okay, back again. Pressure's built up. Uh, I've got the switch on off at the moment. So, it's a bit of blast. Just let's see what happens. Just not sure if there's going to be enough torque that will go. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, it did work. Okay, I'm gonna let that build up once more. I'm gonna finish this off with just uh, take the little fan, computer fan generator away and uh, come back and just give that a run by itself, a nice good scram and run. And uh, be back soon again. Okay, back again. Uh, the boiler's coming up to a really nice good head of steam pressure. Just going to have some fun. And uh, just by the way, I'll just let you all know that I do have safety glasses on. This, this little um, steam turbine is getting up to pretty extraordinary RPM. And while I think I've built it pretty good, it's all hard soldered in there with 45% uh, silver solder. But who knows, if that let go, it would be maybe catastrophic. So anyway, here we go, just steam it up. steam bench that I've made, uh, double thickness cork, it's about uh, six feet long and uh, about three feet wide. So I can put pins and stuff when I'm putting the accessories in, very handy. But anyway, there's my 
homemade DIY steam turbine. I hope you enjoyed watching that and listening to that as much as I did. I hope the bloody wind hasn't been that much of a bugger and being picked up in the um, microphone. But I'm pretty proud of this. Very happy. It took a while to build. There were some hurdles for me, like I'm, I'm no engineer, I'm just a DIY backyard hobbyist, but I'm pretty happy with that. Go for one more, then I'll let you guys off the hook and you can go and get on to other things, but here we go. You can see how, how ferocious that wind is, it's just blowing it straight out. Alright, I'll let you go now. As always, thanks for watching. Bye now.